Hi there, Dave here. Today I'm going to be cleaning the processor's heat sink and fan. So let's turn the power supply off and take the side off. I'm going to be cleaning this third party heat sink and fan for the processor and I'll also show you how to clean this Intel heat sink and fan. This is quite a standard heat sink and fan for Intel. So now you can see a close up of this heat sink and fan. You can see just how dusty it is. Now this is held in by four screws and those screws go through the motherboard and into a back plate. So I've just taken off the back panel of the computer case so that I can show you the back plate. This is where the screws screw into when you screw in the heat sink and fan for the processor. So I'm just going to take out these four screws whilst holding the back plate at the same time. So now we can unplug the processor from the motherboard. Let's take that out. Like so. Now we can just take the whole thing out. So that's the heat sink and fan out and that's the back plate taken out as well. If you want to take out an Intel heat sink and fan, this one's quite a standard one uh, that's used these days. So each of these four pins here, you turn them anti-clockwise and there's an arrow to show you which way you should turn it to uninstall one of these. So you turn it 90 degrees. Do the same with all four pins and then you pull each of the four pins out. And then you can take out the whole heat sink and fan. So now I'm going to clean off this paste off the back of this heat sink and fan. So for this I'm going to use this bottle called Arty Clean. This helps remove the paste. So give it a shake. Just put a few drops onto the paste. And just leave it for about a minute. So now we can wipe the paste off. And as you can see, with using that liquid, it comes off quite easily. Now for the cleaning part of the heat sink and fan. Now, as you can see, most of the dust is on the front side of the heat sink and fan, not so much on the back. And to clean it, we can use can of compressed air and a lint free cloth and a paintbrush. This is just a normal paintbrush. Obviously you want to use an unused paintbrush. Now we take the can of compressed air and blow through the fins of the heat sink to blow out the dust. just want to use short sharp bursts and as you can see there's a lot of dust coming out already. Now if you want to you can use a brush instead or as well as the can of compressed air to get that dust out of the heat sink. It's good to use a can of compressed air as well. And also we can use a cloth to get those bits on the side and wherever else you need to use the cloth. Now with a lot of heat sinks and fans you can actually take the fan off of the heat sink like with this one you can pull these tabs just at the side on this side and this side and then you can take the fan off. 
but you can actually clean it with the fan on anyway. So here's the tabs I was talking about. Just pull them up and out of this groove with a, a screwdriver. Now I've already done this because it was a bit awkward to show on the camera. But once you've taken out the tabs on all four sides of the heatsink and fan, you can then just take the fan off. So now we can really give this heat sink a good clean with the brush or the can of compressed air. So now we have the heat sink clean. Now we can clean the fan. Now for this you can use a brush or a cloth to clean the fan up. This isn't particularly technical part all, we, all you want to do is get all the dust off and get it as clean as you can now you don't want to use anything that has chemicals on it so you want a clean cloth preferably a lint free cloth to clean this off and if you're going to use a brush just use one that is an unused paintbrush to clean it all off. Okay, so that's the fan cleaned as well. And now I just need to clean up the dust off the table. So if you want to clean an Intel heatsink and fan, this one is quite a standard one. So you can take off the fan from the heat sink by pulling these or rather pushing these tabs out so you just I'll show you a close-up of that just push that tab out just there and you do the same with all four tabs and the fan will come off of the heat sink So once you have these two separated, the heat sink and fan, you can clean these just the same as I just showed you with brushes or a cloth or a can of compressed air. When you want to reassemble the Intel heat sink and fan, just turn the fan over and you can see the heat sink looks different in the middle on each side. So you want this side to be facing this way and you can also see on the heat sink there's indents and those will line up with these tabs on the fan so we just line them up and push the heat sink back on and there you can hear it clicks into place. So to reassemble this heat sink and fan, you can put the fan roughly into place to start with and turn it round and you need to push these plastic bits over these tabs just here so that they click into place. So just give it a push, make sure it's lined up. Try and push those tabs back over. So that's one clicked into place. And the next, the third one is clicked on. And the fourth one is already into place. So that's the fan back onto the heat sink. Now it does vary a little bit on how you put the fan back onto each 
heatsink, especially third party ones, but most of them are fairly, the, fairly much the same where they just somehow clip back into place. Now I'm going to clean the back of the heat sink, just this square here, with a second bottle of this Arty Clean, because these bottles they come in a pack like this. This first one is to help take the paste off, and this helps purify the area afterwards. So I'll just give that a shake, put a few drops on the back, once you've put a few drops on, you leave it for about a minute and then you can clean it off with the cloth. So the liquid has been on there for about a minute now. So I just clean it with a lint free cloth. Now this area has been cleaned, we can move on to the processor. So now we can do exactly the same with the back of the processor. We can use the first bottle to help remove the paste and then we can use this second bottle to help purify the surface. So let's use this first bottle, put a few drops onto the paste. And once the paste has been on there for about a minute, you can quite easily start removing the paste off the back of the processor. Now we can use the second bottle. Just give it a shake, put a few drops onto the back of the processor to help purify the surface and leave it again for about a minute. So the liquid's been on there for about a minute now so we can just clean it again using a lint-free cloth. So I'm going to put some thermal paste onto the processor now. So just take the lid off and just need to squeeze out a small amount onto the back of the processor. And then we can spread that around using again a lint three a lint free cloth. Now here at the back of the case, we can put this back plate back on. Just line this up with the four screw holes on the back of this motherboard. Obviously you can't see two of the screw holes, but we just push the back plate up and push it into place. So now we can line up the four screws that's on the heat sink and fan with the screw holes that's on the motherboard here, here, here and here. And as you can see that that's part of the back plate coming through here. So we line up the screws on the heat sink and fan with those screw holes. Now we can screw that into place. And we also have to plug in the processor fans power back in as well. So just plug that in 
just as it was before onto the motherboard. Okay, so that's the processors, heat sink and fan all cleaned up and installed and ready to use so you can turn your computer on at this stage. If you're installing an Intel heat sink and fan, just show you a bit more of a close up of this so you can clearly see. So you make sure that each of these pins are turned clockwise turn about 90 degrees you can then put this onto the motherboard and push the pins down two at a time in opposite corners. Okay, so that's the processor's heatsink and fan cleaned. Now we can put the side panel back on. Now, when you come to clean any processor's heatsink and fan, they do vary a little bit on how you take them out and how you separate the fan from the heatsink, but they're all fairly much the same as I've shown you two different types of heatsink and fan. You can generally get the idea of how to do pretty much any heatsink and fan, how to take it out, how to separate the fan from the heatsink and how to reassemble it as well. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. See you next time.